Good evening, everyone. Welcome to MSG the online classes. So, in all the three previous classes, we have discussed about what is a polynomial, what are the types of polynomial, how to find the degree of a polynomial, and along with we have also little bit idea about the division of polynomial. And in this class, we will discuss about how to perform the division of a polynomial by another polynomial. Okay. So, this is our topic: division of polynomial. As we know, a division has how many parts? It has four parts. Okay. A division has how many parts? Four parts. What are they? First part is dividend. Okay. Second part is divisor. Third one is quotient. Okay. And the last part is remainder. And all these four parts. The dividend, divisor, and the quotient and the remainder. All these four parts are a polynomial. Okay, they all are a single polynomial. That's why we can write the dividend as polynomial in terms of x. Okay, if it is expressed in the variable x, then we can say it is a polynomial of variable x. Okay, divisor is also a polynomial, so we can write it as g. Of x, g means the divisor, or g means g also a polynomial. Okay, then quotient can be written as small q of x. It is also a polynomial in terms of x and remainder. The remainder is written in the form r of x. It is also a polynomial. So in division, these all four part are polynomials. Okay, so a division consists of these four parts. Okay. And before performing division, you have to keep in mind three things. Okay. So out of the three most important things in order to perform a division, the first point is the degree of the dividend p of x is always greater than or equal to one. Okay. The dividend that you take, suppose p x be the dividend. Okay. And its degree must be equal to one or greater than one. Suppose we can take x plus one. Can it be a dividend? See, it is a polynomial of degree one. It has a degree one. So according to our definition, it can be a dividend. Suppose we have one more example. Suppose it will be x cube minus two x square. Okay, it is also a polynomial and it has a degree three. That means its degree is greater than One. So, a polynomial or a dividend having degree is equal to one or greater than one can be a dividend. This is the first point we have to remember. Okay, it cannot be or the degree cannot be less than one. You cannot take p of x as simply eight. It is a non-zero constant polynomial and its degree is how much zero. So, we cannot take. For the case of polynomial, we cannot take a non-zero constant polynomial as a dividend. Clear? So this is the first point. We should remember it. Coming to the second point, the second point says that the terms of the polynomial should be arranged in decreasing order of their degree. Okay? The polynomial we are taking, suppose we are taking the dividend. Okay? Dividend is written as p of x. It is a polynomial in the polynomial. Has some terms, and all the terms should be arranged in decreasing order of their degree. It means what? Let us take an example. Suppose we have p of x is equal to x cube plus x plus x square. Okay? So this is a polynomial, and it is taken as dividend. Okay? It has how many terms? It has three terms. Okay? So it says that. The terms of the polynomial. These are the terms of the polynomial. Should be arranged. So they should be arranged in decreasing order of their degree. Okay. So out of these three terms, it has degree three, it has degree one, and it has degree two. So according to the definition, it says that the terms having highest power will be placed at the first point. Okay. The terms having highest power will be placed at first place. Okay, that means out of these these three terms, which term have highest power? 
this term has highest power so it should be placed in the first okay and it says the terms having least power okay will be placed at the last of the polynomial okay out of this three term which term have least power this term has least power so it should be placed at the last and the remaining one is x square it should be placed in the middle that means the terms having highest power placed at the first the terms having second highest will be placed at the second the terms having last or least power has been placed at the last of the polynomial okay this is the point described so all the terms should be arranged according to the definition okay so the polynomial will be arranged in this manner so let us take one more example suppose we have given p of x is equal to 1 minus x cube okay plus x to the power 4 minus x square plus 2x okay so this is a polynomial or we can take it as a dividend it is how many terms it is 1 2 3 4 5 five term now we have to first see whether all the terms are arranged in proper order or not do all the terms are arranged in proper order here one is a non zero one sum polynomial so its degree is 0 its degree is 3 it has four degree 2 and it has degree 1 so do, do all the terms are arranged in a proper order in the decreasing order of that degree no they are not arranged in a proper order so we have to arrange them according to the decreasing order of their degree okay so we have to find out which term having highest power out of this five term this term will be highest power so you will write first x to the power 4 then the second highest term is x cube that means we will write minus x cube here because it contain minus x cube so minus x cube then we have to find x square term see it has minus x square so write minus x square here then we have to write power 1 that means 2x term so plus 2x finally we will go for the power 0 okay so it will take plus 1 so this is the rearranged term of the polynomial so before performing any division you have to rearrange the polynomial according to the decreasing order of their degree okay so you can take one more example also suppose you have x minus x cube plus x square plus x to the power 4 okay it has also four terms so you have to rearrange them out of this four term which has highest power this one has highest power so right x to the power 4 then this one minus x to the power 3 then plus x to the power 2 finally we will write x so this is the rearranged term or it is known as a dividend clear coming to the third point the third point says that while rearranging the terms of a polynomial if any term having some degree is missing then that term can be added to the original polynomial by writing 0 into x to the power something okay it is a very long definition you can understand it by taking an example suppose i am writing an example p of x is equal to x to the power 3 plus x to the power 2 okay plus 5 so it is a polynomial or dividend its power is 3 its power is 2 and its power is 0 they are already rearranged so while rearranging the terms if any term is missing okay let us find out which term is missing here it has a power 3 since it is highest power so it should be placed in the first place it has a second highest power 2 then the least power is 0 but which term is missing and its degree is how much then one term is missing here that is whose degree is 1 see after 3 we have to 
then after two we must have one but here we do not have one so one term is missing whose power is one that means we can say the missing term the missing term will be for x to the power one okay because we do not have a term whose degree is one so clear so up to this we are clear while we are in the terms if any term having some degree it has a degree one is missing clear then what happens that term can be added and that term can be added to the original polynomial we will add this term with the original polynomial just by writing zero into x to the power something how see how i am doing you have to simply write x to the power 3 okay plus then the next power is 2 okay so after 2 we will have degree 1 okay so this term will be added here but how it should be added here by just writing 0 into x to the power 1 okay why because 0 to x to the power 1 is 0 so it doesn't have any value so we can also write it as 0 into x to the power 1 Okay, why? Because the the original polynomial doesn't have x. Okay, so in order to write that term in the original polynomial, we have to write its coefficient as zero. Okay, so zero into x to the power one plus five. So it is power three, it is power two, it is power one, it is power zero. So they are all arranged in decreasing order of their degree. Clear? So any term is missing. Then you can add it by using zero into x to the power something. Let us try with another example. If we have p of x is equal to x to the power four c x to the power two plus x. Okay, this is a polynomial. So here power is four, here is two, here is one. So after four we must have three, but here it doesn't contain any term whose Power is three, so we have to add a term whose power is three. That is x cube. But how we can add the add it? We can add it by writing just zero into x to the power three. Okay, then write x square plus x. This is the power four. This is three. This is two. This is one. So they are all arranged in a decreasing order of their degree. Understood? you can take one more example if we have x 5 plus x cube plus 2 okay so we will rearrange the terms it is power 5 it is power 3 it is power 0 so between 5 and 3 which two terms are missing or which one term is missing It also contains a term whose degree is four. It is missing here. That means x to the power four is missing. So five, four, three. Between three and zero, how many terms are missing here? Two terms are missing here. What are they? One term having degree two and other term having degree one. So this term will be x square and this term will be x. So these three terms are missing in this. Polynomial. You have to add all these three terms with the original polynomial. How? Let us write first x to the power five. Okay. Since x to the power four is missing here, so we can write zero into x to the power four. X to the power q is here. X to the power two is missing here, so we can write zero into x to the power two. Okay. Similarly, x to the power one is also missing here, so you will write zero to x to the power one. Then finally, you write two. This is your newly formed polynomial. Okay, so node three is complete. So now let us perform some division. Okay, so here we have divide x cube minus two x square plus four x plus five by x plus one. So here this one is the dividend. So we can write P of x is equal to x cube minus 2x square plus 4x plus 5. Okay, this is the dividend, and you see whether all the terms of the dividend 
are arranged in decreasing order of their degree yes this is 3 this is 2 this is 1 this is 0 so all the terms are arranged in decreasing order of their degree then write this is the divisor and divisor is written in the form g of x okay so it will be x plus 1 it is also arranged in the decreasing order of its degree so all these two dividend and divisor are properly arranged now divide them we have x cube minus 2x square plus 4x okay plus 5 we will divide it by x plus 1 so we need x cube here so what should be multiplied with x to get x cube we need x square okay so x into x square will be x cube okay then plus here also sign plus so we will write plus x now 1 into x square will be x square okay then simply divide, subtract them by changing their sign okay since the new sign is here so the original sign of the term has vanished here the original sign of x cube will be plus it has vanished here the original sign of x square is plus it has vanished so the new sign will be minus here also since it has plus, so we will write minus. Since it has plus, so we will write minus. Then, see, it has sign plus, it has sign minus. So, these two terms will be cancelled. Now, minus 2x square minus x square. So, we have minus 2x square minus x square. It will be how much? Minus 3x square. Okay, same sign means they are being added. Okay, so it will be minus 3x square. Then, it will be plus 4x, 5 also coming to downward, it will be plus 5. Up to this you are clear. Then perform again. We need minus 3 here. Minus 3. It has a coefficient 1. But we need minus 3. So what should be multiplied with 1? Minus 3 should be multiplied with 1 to get minus 3. Okay. Then we need x square here. That means 2x here. But we have only x here. So, we will multiply another x to get 3x square. Okay. So, it will be plus minus minus x into 3x is 3x square. Then plus minus is minus and 1 into 3x is 3x. Again, change the sign. Okay. The original sign will be vanished and the new sign will be plus here also plus. And first two terms will be vanished. Okay, cancel out. Now, plus 4x plus 3x, not minus 3x. It will be plus 4x plus 3x. So, 4 plus 3 is 7x. 5 coming to down, it will be 5. Okay. You have to carry out the division until, until the degree of the remainder should be less than the degree of the uh, divisor. Okay, you have to perform the division up to which the degree of the remainder should be less than the degree of the divisor. Here you see the degree of the remainder will be 1. Here also the degree of the remainder will be 1. That means we will again go further the division process. So we need 7 here. So what should be multiplied? 7. We need only single x here. So only we have to multiply 7 here. Because 7 into x is 7 x. Okay. Then plus plus plus. 1 into 7 is a 7. So, change the sign. This two will cancel out. It is plus 5 and minus 7. Okay, not plus 7. Minus 7. 5 minus 7 will be minus 2. Okay, this is your remainder. And you stop performing the division. Why? Here the power of the remainder will be 0, but here the power of the division will be 1. So, stop the division here. So, you get this is your quotient that is q of x. Here, this is your remainder that is r of x. Okay. So, this is the procedure you have to follow and carry out the division. Coming to the second question. The second question we have to divide x q minus 2 x square plus 5 by 1 minus x. So, this is the dividend part and this is the divisor part. Okay, so you can write p of x is equal to x to the power 3 minus 2x square plus 5. 
Okay, first we have to determine whether all the terms are arranged in decreasing order of that degree. Okay, so it has power 3, it has power 2, it has power 0. Yes, they are arranged in decreasing order of their degree. Second thing we have to define whether any term is missing here. See, it has a power 3, it has a power 2, it has a power 0. But between 2 and 0, one term is missing. Whose degree is 1. So, which term is missing? x to the power 1 is missing. Okay? It is clear which term is missing. So, we can add this term with the original polynomial. So, we can write the polynomial as x to the power 3 minus 2x square. Okay? Plus, this term is missing. So, we can write it as 0 into x to the power 1 or simply x. Then plus 5. Here. Yeah. So, this is the dividend part which has been rearranged. Now coming to the divisor part that is g of x. g of x will be 1 minus x. We have to also determine or verify whether all the terms are arranged in proper, or, proper order or not. Okay. So see it has degree 0 and it has degree 1. So the terms are not arranged in the decreasing order of that degree. They are arranged in the increasing order of that degree. So, we have to arrange them in the decreasing order. How? So, we have to write first the highest power. Which term has the highest power? This term has the highest power. So, write minus x. Okay? Then plus 1. So, we have to keep in mind. We have to always rearrange the terms in the decreasing order of their degree. Whether they are in the dividend case or in the divisive case. Okay? So, this 2 has been rearranged. Now, divide them. We have to divide x cube minus 2x square plus 0 into x plus 5 by minus x plus 1. Okay. So, we need plus x cube here. Plus x cube. We have minus. 2 minus are multiplied to give plus. So, we need another minus here. This is clear. We need x to the power 3 here. We have only x to the power 1. So, we need another x to the power 2. x to the power 1 into x to the power 2 will be x to the power 3. So, minus minus will be plus. Okay, you can write plus. You cannot write anything. x into x square will be x cube. Then, okay, plus 1 and minus. Plus minus will be minus. Okay, this is clear. So, plus minus is minus 1 into x square will be x square. Okay. Then change the sign. This two term will be cancelled. Then we have minus 2x square minus 2x square plus x square not minus. Okay. The new sign will be plus plus x square. So, minus 2x square plus x square means 1x square. So, minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 x square or we can simply write it as minus x square. So, it will be minus x square. Okay. Then, this coming to down, this coming to down, it will be 0 into x plus 5. Then, we need minus here. Here also minus already is present. So, we we'll write plus because minus plus is minus. Then, we need x square here. We have x. We have need one more x. So, minus x plus x will be minus x square. Then, plus 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 1 into x is x. Okay. Change sign. Cancel. Plus 0 x means it has no value of 0. So, we have only minus x. Okay. This term means 0 and it has only minus x. The new sign is minus. Okay. This sign has no value. Then, 5 coming to down, it will be plus 5. See, here the degree of the remainder is 1. Here also the degree of the divisor is 1. Then we have to carry out again the division until the degree of the remainder will be less than the degree of the divisor. So, here minus x, here also minus x. Okay. So, minus x is multiplied with 1 to give minus x. Okay. Minus plus minus x into 1 is x. Then, plus, 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 1 into 1 is 1. Okay? Change sign. 
this to cancel out plus 5 minus 1 that means 5 minus 1 is 4 this is our remainder that is r of x and this is our cosine that is u of x okay clear coming to the next question the next question we have divide x to the power 5 minus 4 x to the power 4 plus 2 x square plus 5 by x square minus 1 okay so let us divide them here we have p of x will be x to the power 5 minus 4x to the power 4 plus 2x square plus 5. First see whether all the terms have been arranged in decreasing order of that degree. It is power 5, it is power 4, okay, it is power 2, it is power 0. So yes, they are arranged in the decreasing order of that degree. Now we have to verify whether any term is missing here. Okay. It is power 5, it is power 4, it is power 2, it is power 0. Okay, so see here, 5, 4, between 4 and 2, we have one term is missing here, whose degree will be 3, that means x to the power 3 is missing here. Okay, then again 2 and 0, we have one more term whose power will be 1 is missing here, that means x to the power 1 is missing here. So, in the original polynomial, we have two term whose power is 3 and another power is 1 is missing here. So, we have to add them in the original polynomial. Hence, our original polynomial will be how much? You can write P of x is equal to x to the power 5 minus 4x to the power 4. Okay. Then, which term is missing? x to the power 3. So, you can write 0 into x to the power 3. Okay. Then, 2x square. Then, power 1 term is missing. So, you can write 0 into x or x to the power 1 plus 5. This is our dividend and we have divisor x square minus 1. So, write x square minus 1. Okay. So, now let, let us perform the division. Okay. So, x to the power 5 minus 4x to the power 4 plus 0x cube plus 2x square plus 0x plus 5. Okay. This is the dividend is divided by x square minus 1. So, now we need x to the power 5 here and we have x to the power 2. So, we need another x to the power 3 so that this 2 will multiply to give x to the power 5. This is x to the power 5. Now, this is minus, this is sine plus, so minus plus is minus, minus plus is minus. 1 into x to the power 3 will be how much? x to the power cube. Okay. But we have to put it in which place, in which column. I have forgotten to tell you that you have to always write the like terms in the similar column. That means if this term having the power 4, then below this term you have to write another term whose power is 4. Okay. You cannot write here another term whose power is other than 4. Okay. If it has power 3, then in the below or in this column, you have to write another term whose power is 3. That means like terms will be written in the same column. Okay. So, here the power is 3. That means it must be written in this or this column. In this column because this column contains x to the power 3. Clear? So, it should be written in this column minus x u. Okay. Then carry forward minus here also you can change the sign. Okay. It is minus x cube you can change it to plus. Now, this 2 will be cancelled out. So, this coming to down it will be minus 4 x 4. Now, 0 x cube means 0. Then it has plus x cube all the part will move to the down plus 2x square plus 0x plus 5. Now, we need minus here. It has plus. So, minus here because plus minus will be minus. x square we need x4 here. So, multiply with x2 or x square. So, it will be minus. Huh, one more thing. It has a coefficient 4. So, we need 4 here. 
so you have to multiply another 4 also here. It will be minus 4x square. So the result will be minus 4x to the power 4. Okay. Then minus, minus, plus, plus, 1 into 4x square. Will be how much? 4x square. And this 4x square must be written along this column. It shouldn't be written in this column. It should be written in this column. Because it contains a power 2 and it also contains a power 2. So, write 4x square here. Okay. Then change the sign plus minus. Cancel out. This goes to down. It will be x to the power 3. Then see plus 2x square. I am writing here plus 2x square and minus 4x square. The new sign is minus. 2 minus 4 is minus 2 minus 2 x square. Okay. Then this goes to down. It will be 0 x plus 5. Again carry x square. We need x cube here. So simply multiply with x. It will be x square into x will be x cube. Then minus plus minus 1 into x will be x. So it has a power 1. So it should be written in the column. This column. Okay. Because it contains also x. So write minus x. Okay. It is minus x. So change the sign. This to cancel out. This goes to down. It will be minus 2x square. Then it has value 0. And we have only plus x. Plus Five. Now see, it has a power 2, the remainder, it has also power 2, that means we need one more division further, okay. So we need minus 2 here, it has the coefficient 1, so minus 2. It has the power 2, it has the power 2, so we simply multiply with minus 2. So x square into minus 2 will be minus 2x square. Now minus minus. So, minus minus will be plus. See here, minus. They are minus. So, minus minus plus. 1 into 2 will be 2. This is a constant term. So, it should be written in this column or this column. In this column because it contains 5. Okay. So, plus 2 must be written in this part. Now, change the sign. Plus minus. These two will be cancelled. Then, x coming to down plus 5 minus 2 will be plus 3. Okay. Now we will see whether the division will go further or not. Here see the remainder has the power 1. It has the degree 2. That means the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divisor. So stop the division here. And this is our remainder that is R of x. Okay. And this part is known as the cosine u of x. Okay. So, you can follow all this procedure and carry out the division process. Okay.